All right. So interest rates can keep going up, but the main thing is just about making it affordable. So these interest rates could be 10%, uh, you know, for, for people buying mortgages, as long as the government and the banks figure out a way to make it affordable for people, whether that extends well, it comes the back mortgages. To there, there, there's a limit. It can't keep going up there's forever, but, but um, there's a limit. But, uh, um, you know, reserve banks are not, and the Fed, they're not stupid. They won't keep raising interest rates. They'll take it up to, they'll take it up to some uh, back to normality and then things will adjust again. And, you know, don't be, I wouldn't be at all surprised in 2025 if we see interest rate um, adjustment and they come down a little bit again and then people start celebrating that and we all start to think that they'll, they'll, people, the economists will start saying, oh, yes, they can go much lower now. And they start telling everybody to buy in, right, which will be right at yeah. the end of the cycle. Yeah, okay. That'll drop it, and then obviously when things start to roll over, they'll start to increase them. That what happens at, that's what happened at the last cycle that I remember. They had to increase well, the rates because everyone I, was going crazy in the party. In 2026, we'll have been 14 years up. Don't, don't join whatever anybody else is doing. Study history. That's it. And from this point, it's blood in the streets buy up now regardless of whatever else is going on out there <clears throat> any other... just buy don't just buy anything but uh you know just um have a look at the the yield and the earnings and stuff like that but um you know there's 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 plenty of in australia for example there's plenty of decent companies at the moment that share prices going up um any mm -hmm. any company that's mining lithium share price has been going up uh the the drillers the drillers um, their prices have been going up um, there's one or two very good companies uh, involved in that field. Their prices have been going up. Um, any stocks that have been think, involved in... Is that in part of the commodity food? cycle? Is that part of the commodity cycle well, also going up? Stock prices going up, trends up. So, you know, it's not it, not everything's been going down. There's always stocks that are on the move, always stocks making uh, new highs in some particular field or fashion. There's not been so many at the moment, but um, uh, over time they'll come back. Um, banks as well... Um, Banks are a little bit overdone in most places because uh, there's a bit of fear around. But uh, as interest rates go up, the bank margins must improve. That will improve their profitability over time and it will allow them to lend more money or create more credit. So um, uh, banks are a good, uh, a good um, thing to look at at the moment as well. As in getting it because they're going to be making more profits into the second half of the cycle. <clears throat> no, the banks. The banks at the moment, their margin must improve when interest rates go up, because they can they can not they can pay exactly the same deposit rate for their clients, but start earning more on higher mortgage rates. So their spread increases. They must make more money. This is this. They must, absolutely mm -hmm. must. So over time, um, their prices will go up because their earnings will go up. From is that going to be? Uh, we've talked about it. I know we've talked about it in the past that so people should go and watch the previous interviews that we've done. Uh, I guess looking at actual signals for the end of a cycle, just something that might be a little bit more of a leading indicator. People are, it's a for good that, time They're going to have to subscribe, that. Jason. They're going to have to subscribe. <laughs> Knowing my service and, and get educated. Links are in the get description smart. for that. There's, yeah. if you want a little hint, just what Phil has talked about just previously, you know, banks have to be making profits now. Therefore, let's see what happens at the end. Um, Interest rates, we talked about that going into the end of the cycle and at the other side of the cycle when things start to crash, same old thing, they'll be they'll start to drop them too late. Is that what you're expecting? Well, rule number one, the Fed's always behind the curve. Always. Rule number two, the government always makes things worse. Whatever action they take will always make things worse. Basic rules. That's it. Um let me just share this with everyone again, just in case we missed, uh, skipped over it. So this is from Phil's website here, uh, Property Share Market Economics, the 18-year Yeah, we didn't put cycle. just the, we didn't we didn't invent that yesterday. That's been up there for the last I don't know how many years, right? We haven't changed anything yet. You got there the Source Ascend Strategy Money Week Magazine 2014. So that's been up yeah. there for a long time. Yeah. And you've talked about this, yeah. I know, uh, since I found you in 2012. So you used to have just a clock. It's also on I mean, the website. Look in the middle. Look in the middle. Years yeah. ended in one and two, right? Look in the middle. Yeah. 2001, 1981, 1961, 2021, yeah. 22, right? Wasn't hard. Yeah. Yeah. So this was all put ahead ahead of time. This is about timing the cycle. And 
you know, I had a couple of comments recently about you're a fool if you're trying to time the cycle, but I think that's the only thing you can really do. You can't really say what price it's going to be at. It's only really the timing that you could that you could aim to get. Oh, well, it depends on the time frame. Right? You know, I'm not talking about you can't time the market every day, but um, sure. certain certain years are up, certain years are down. And yeah. you ended in two, 2022 um, was always going to be down. That's not hard. To do you think there. there's any other science behind that? Because I know people will be like, how is this even possible? Yes, it, it's shown over the last hundred years that every year ending in two has been down or tough. You know, maybe they haven't gone yeah. down, but they've been sideways and stagnant. Yes. Um, yes. What's the what's Yes, the there's very good science. If people want to know yes. what that is, um, to, they, they just need to subscribe. I don't talk about it, that in public because that makes me, that just makes it too easy to criticize what I do. But um, Fair enough. subscribe. You know, um, you know what it is, Jason. Right. Um, but I'm not I, I do, about I that do in public. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's very good science. It's on the level. It's um, uh, and what's more, it's really easy to work out. Okay, it's it's not hard. It's all there. What happened in the past for the same reasons going to happen in the future. And hard. so that then leads into the future. The same sort of things we start to see um, with the the mega structures. I know someone's talked about uh, mm. mentioned that to me as well with the. Saudi Arabia plans to build a hundred mile long the line. Yeah. Are these the sort of I don't think that'll of... get built, but the plans no. but the ideas come out, right? The Japanese now have got uh, something they're gonna build. What is it, four hundred and twenty one floors? Um the schedule date that. for it's completion like of that's twenty forty five. That's just um that's fourteen years from twenty thirty one, right? So here's your date for the next cycle. I mean, how hard is it? <laughs> That's the next cycle top guy. So it's a it's a buy buy yeah. the dip in 2029, 2031, and then yeah. ride it up to the next peak in the 2040s. Yeah. Um Ray Dalio's theories. I know we're talking sort of bigger picture here. Is there any oh, yeah, intelligent stuff? He said cash was he said cash cash was trash in the, right at the top of 2019, early 2020. Guys, stop listening to these guys, right? They don't understand what, what land is. They're not they, you know what I get they, they're just I don't know why. So Elon Musk's another guy, right? Look, I'm sure I'm not saying he's not a smart guy. He's made a lot of money with some great inventions. But I don't know why that gives him the ability then to start telling everybody what they should be doing and why it makes him smarter in forecasting than anybody else. Right? So well, it's, it just doesn't just because he's made so we're much talking money about that like before that, with billionaires. qualify him to to be uh, no. to be giving you advice. But Ray Dalio has that qualification of, uh, you know, being an investor a long term and with the billions of dollars in his hedge fund uh, people sort of say well how how do they all miss whatever this? he says do the opposite whatever why, he says do why the do you opposite. think they why do you think they're still so successful with their own hedge funds um making money that is in terms of it's success it's different it's different to be successful in your own right uh, be a bit more like warren buffett Warren Buffett doesn't tell everybody else what to do right at certain times. He doesn't think he's smart enough to do that. He just focuses on his own business. So Ray Dalio and others, they focus on their own business and uh, they've done well and good luck to them. That's fine. But that doesn't make them qualified to then start making for accurate forecasts because they won't. Mm. Warren Buffett doesn't come out and forecast. Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett just sticks to his methodology, right? When he sees good value, when he sees... Yeah. When he sees he can buy earnings cheap, he goes and buys. That's that's a very good policy. You'll do really well if you can do that. If you know the difference between value and price, a lot of people don't. So then what do you think? So follow, about... what, follow Buffett. I always say don't follow Buffett. He's got no, no, billions no. of dollars, Buffett, but his strategy. He doesn't forecast, right? He no. doesn't forecast. He doesn't think he's good enough to forecast. And he tells you he's, that's his, he tells you he's not good enough to do it. But Buffett can identify um cheap earnings value he does very well with that I, for the average punter though it's a different strategy though you know he's got the billions of dollars yeah, completely yes it depends on what your strategy and, and, is so why why would you listen to somebody if their strategy is different to yours fair enough yeah whereas the punter on the street they can't go and just buy up these companies with billions of dollars when it's cheap you know they got to buy it at the stock market value so they have to understand how to see value in a stock market chart and that's where you, for us, yeah. we come back to GAN, learn how to yeah. analyze a chart yes. with GAN, yes. and same deal for you. The problem the, if, the problem that the average punter runs into is that they get controlled by their own emotions. 
So at the For moment, sure. they're listening to everybody else. They're listening to everybody else say there's recession coming and listening to Mr. Diamond say it's Armageddon and listening to Elon Musk say, oh, I don't have a very good feeling about this. Um, oh, yeah, so they don't act on their, they don't act at the right time because they're listening to everybody else and it influences their emotions. Don't do that either. Work out so what, what it would you suggest? What, where do you go then? You know, you're saying don't listen to influencers, don't listen to, to us. You know, we've got different no. strategies. We've what what can we, what could we give them as? Secret life of huh? real estate and banking. Know your history. Okay, go and read this book. So you'll yep. know, you'll know at certain times um, how to behave. And this year was one of those times where you just have to wait and sit it out. You have to wait for the market to finish its downtrend, which is close now. Um, it's not going to go Our up tomorrow audience. straight up. It's got to build a no. base, which it'll do over this month and next month and perhaps the month afterwards. You'll see the base. Um, you'll just be able to work out where the lows are. And then um, as they start making high tops and high bottoms, uh, it's just it'd be easy to get in. But having said that, at the same time, even whilst, even whilst uh, the general stock markets have been going lower all year, there's plenty of stocks been going up. Plenty of stocks. There's at least uh, twenty in, or thirty uh, in Australia that have that have that have been going up strongly. Five or six <laughs> of them are uh, lithium stocks. Lithium is where so, you're looking, and yeah. is that trend likely to continue based on over more, time? You know, yes, technology coming out. Not batteries. tomorrow, but uh, not tomorrow, but over time. Yes, I think that trend will continue. I got a question from a member here. I don't know if you want to answer it because it's to do with some of the other uh, cycle stuff. Um, uh, do you look at anything to do with the sun and solitary cycles or shall we leave that for another time? I got to join. If they want to see that type of information, because that's how you get things exact, you got to join. I don't do that in public. Fair enough. can understand. Um, yeah, I look, I, I feel like we've gone through pretty much everything that people have asked for. Uh, it's more around looking how to, ask those better questions what you said today is basically turn off internet <laughs> if you're finding the stuff that makes sense go with it otherwise turn the crap off stop listening to billionaires and well, yeah well, focus don't, on don't the treat history. the internet as an echo chamber you know don't go looking for what it is you're looking for right i mean you know gotta be a little careful i'm i'm so pleased i did all my book and all my research I, i'm so pleased that i, I didn't have the internet um Otherwise, I think I'd have probably not found the right stuff. I think. I, I you can look at it in two ways. I sat, I guess, in, the, I sat in the if Thomas Jefferson it. Library at, in in <laughs> St. Louis, Missouri. I sat there for a week and a half, just looking at stuff. Right, I had to go over and do it myself. It was nineteen ninety six or whenever it was. Right, okay. Uh -huh. um, so that was where Roy Winslick was and all this stuff. It's probably still there, but nobody goes in now. Um, so anyway, you know what I mean? I, I, I do. Um, look, I guess we're pretty grateful that we can at least find this sort of information online so that it can be spread to more people so they don't have to go and travel to Missouri and, you know, sit in the libraries. Um, you know, if we can use the internet in that way, then yes, there's a lot of good that we can find from it. But it is now like sifting through a, a rubbish tip to try and find... Yeah. Well, it's not hard to get information from me. You just... Go to our go to a blog and sign up. It's free, right? And then that puts yeah. you into what we do, and you can make up your own mind whether you think it's for you or not. Just sign up. It's, it's free. It's not hard. Yep, for sure. Uh, we'll wrap it up. Wrap it up soon. Um, any last things? You know, what we could see with this part of the cycle, how to feel. Uh, you know, I guess where I'm coming from is that there is still more and more heavy information or heavy news coming out you know even u.s house prices have been falling this year so people are saying well is this stunting the cycle is it is it stopping the cycle is the cycle shortened because the house prices have fallen oh no well what, what have they fallen about 0.01 percent or some nonsense right um you know they they escalated uh in uh, from the pandemic reasons um they have to pause that you can't go up 20 30 percent every year they do have to pause and there has to be adjustments as interest rates go up in, and or normalise. They're not really going up as such. They're normalising, and that has to be done too. Uh, some areas it will be more difficult than others, um, but you know, you, 
this is where you've got to get a little bit educated. You have to know that when the when the Fed takes away the punch bowl and and is in its um in its uh, tightening type cycle, asset prices pause. Um, then you've just got to know your real estate cycle. Fourteen years up, four down. You just, so it's not we're not at the extreme yet. So it's not going to be big dramas. Um, so just you know know your history. So the we, history. We've had to, I told everybody at the beginning of 2022 that we'd have to get a pause because after what had happened the year before, um, you know, the Fed gets the, all the stuff that's happening. It's, it's quite normal. It's, I think it's on page 300 and something of my book. I, I demonstrate in the second half of the cycle that, that, that the world's bankers will, have, will suddenly have some reason to panic about inflation. It's the same every single cycle. It's never been any different whether the Fed's there or not. Um, mm-hmm. So it's all in there. The history's in there book was written in 2008 as well so yeah anyone was wondering no no the book, know, was written years. In, the book was published in 2008 published. but it was the, the actual original chapters were up on my website posted on my website from about 1998 to about 2002 or thereabouts um, is that website in, website still live yeah the website's still there that's the old business cycles dot biz um all the, old, all the original biz. stuff is still there when i posted it up uh, it was only in 2003 or four. I had a couple of subscribers talk to me and say, Phil, you, you should actually issue a book now. You've written all those chapters for, for us as subscribers. Um, why don't you put yeah. it in a book and publish it? So that's when I went looking for a publisher, why I ended up in the UK. Right. Uh, I had some other people ask, because you're sort of sick of the talking about the business cycle, the real estate cycle, because it happens time and time again, people get blindsided by it. They go down these paths of you know interest rates, blah, blah, blah. It has to end this time. The cycle shortening. You know, you've you've done it for nearly thirty years now, and it continues I'll get to the repeat. same questions. I had these questions in <laughs> two thousand and three and four. Um, so yeah, the same questions. I mean, I asked really you the same questions in when we did interviews. I think it was earlier this year in February before the war, and we had a. I, I did a video with you saying um, recession is impossible, and people were thinking, "Well, there is a recession now, so you're wrong." And you were specifically talking about real estate prices. There is no recession in real estate prices in 2022, and it hasn't occurred so far. We've got three months left, or two and a half months left. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that's still on par. Um, sorry, the the question was, would you like to talk more about GAN and GAN cycles? Like a lot of oh, people are starting yeah. to get interested now, having found this and your stuff. Yeah, what I really will be talking more about. Yeah, I'll be I'll be doing more GAN and stock markets and trading and stuff. Um, uh, what I will be doing over more over time is um, doing my citizens dividend work. So I'll be showing people how if we collected the economic rent of land um, for citizen revenue, which you can do through a citizens dividend and then pay it back to, to the citizens, um, each and every citizen, uh, every year, like they do in Alaska uh, and um, uh, Norway and Singapore, sometimes um, we could actually eliminate government. We could get rid of government if if we collected the economic rent of land and paid it back to everybody as a citizens' dividend. Um, that, I've done an ebook on that. That's your... on the website. I yeah, that's what that I'm going to talk more well. about. I... I'm, I'm completely yeah. sick of government. They do. Uh, governments they're getting taken over by dictators in certain places <laughs> in the world. The American military loves that because it gives them an, it gives them a, not just an imaginary enemy, but it gives them something to fight against. So we can all we can all make more armaments, and uh, all the armaments manufacturers get get richer, right? Um, it's just uh, it's just a it's the takeover of governments, the hacking of government. Um, I, I'm sick of it. Uh, I'm entirely sick of uh, of having to be told what to do. The lockdowns were just utterly absurd. They were stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, I've never seen anything more stupid in my life. You look at what's going on in China with the government and zero COVID. I mean, for heaven's sake, you know, it's a flu. For heaven's sake, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, there were, yes, there were um, uh, some citizens in, in uh, the population that were more susceptible to this, and we need to to do the right thing and and uh, make sure that they're um, they're well protected. But but to lock up twenty year olds and thirty year olds who were never going to die from from this flu is a- absolute bananas, right? That's government for you. The stupid, the, some of the stupid ideas that come out of government, the, 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 the idiotic stuff that Trump was putting, I mean, you know, how stupid can we be, right? It's time to get government out of our lives. That's why I talk about citizen dividend. Crypto, blockchain, 
is that a possibility to get the government out of our lives to decentralize it yeah, in I hope so. I'm, I'm electronic a big fan fashion? Of, um, I'm a big fan of uh, digital currencies, electronic crypto blockchain and stuff. It would be the perfect mechanism to put in place um, if no speculation could take place and um, asset prices were stable and land price was zero because we're collecting the economic rent. Um, just, to, just to be clear, people are very scared of central bank digital currencies. That's not what you're talking about. No, no, I'm not. No, central bank digital currencies. No. You've got a, you've got an absolute, you've got a total right to be scared of it. Um, what's coming after the next downturn? After after we get the next land price led downturn, um, governments will probably introduce some sort of centralized currency, and then governments will tell us how they're going to let us spend it. They'll get rid of cash completely, and then we'll be at the complete mercy and the behest of government. And if the wrong people get into government, uh, even d democratic governments, um, this is going to be scary. This is going to be really scary because you just, if the government decide that uh, you've been anti government, um, they just won't give you as a bigot allowance, and uh, you'll be at the complete whim and the mercy of, uh, of uh, the people in control. It's going to be dreadful. We're going down the wrong path, I tell you. This is why so we do have you think to, society is limit government. getting worse? You know, I'm always on the, the belief that things have been going up over the course of history over thousands of years, but I guess we have to have some sort of downturns in the macro. Oh, and no, I think overall, upturn. certainly in the Western world, um, we can do things now that we can't ever do before. I think it's quite positive and it's, it's fabulous, but it's when the downturn happens, every real estate-led downturn, land price-led downturn, um, that's, when we, that's when we start to get more centralised control. And uh, this time uh, it'll be interesting to see how that unfolds because government and a digital currency really does have the ability to control our behaviour now. Um, you can see this in China, what's coming in China, right? The Western <coughs> governments will take the, the best and worst of that so that they can reasonably control their, their citizens. Because I can tell you, when the land price finally turns down, um, People are going to be people are going to be really mad. They're going to blame governments when it's really their fault because they were spec. It's all our fault because we were speculating. Um, when things turn down, it's going to get really seriously difficult. The next after the next downturn, you want to be prepared. Talk for about it. you want to know what you can do. Do you think that's the conspiracy theory preppers' way, or is there a more normal way to prepare for this? Um. Do you have a preparation well, you can for see this? After, what, what you can you see do? after 2008 in the US with the with the movements that were really uh, the movements that started to try and bla that were blaming the banks and everything else. You know, the government had to do the US government had to do everything possible to stop revolution. Um, mm -hmm. Now they ended up being the Tea Party stuff, right? Which the government then made sure that they couldn't go too far. Um, you know, no no bankers were jailed. Nothing else happened. Um, They've wound back all of those the, things too. Just as a well, a we're going to go through the same thing the after cycle. after yep. once the next downturn starts. We're going to go through the same thing. Um, it'll just depend on on uh, how serious things get. More than likely, more than likely, there'll be war somewhere so that we all get distracted again, and that'll kick off the next cycle because uh, world powers have to create a whole heap of armaments. More than likely. Mm. Oh, and we've got to finish there, Jason. Preparation. I hate to, hate to finish on we, a negative we, we, note, but... No, 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 we, we will finish. People are, like, it's just, I don't want to leave it open for people because the, the question then is, well, how do I prepare for that? The answer is... All right, that's easy. Read my book. If you like If you like the book, um, subscribe. Just just add your name for free to our to yes. our, um, to our our uh, blog, our, our email list, right? Just add your name in and then, then you'll, you'll get an email every now and then, maybe once a week. Um, and if you decide you like it, you get your chance to uh, um, subscribe to the stuff you want. Fantastic. Well, look, at least you've got the real estate cycle out there. If you want to prepare, you still have time. Now is the blood in the street yeah. to create yeah. that wealth. And yeah. don't be a fool at the end of the cycle. The winner's curse is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Phil, thanks again for your time. All links are in the video description if you guys want to learn more. Uh, I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks again, Phil, for staying up late. Thanks, Appreciate Seth. it. Yeah, good. All right, feel better Cheers. now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Want to know more? Join our Proxy Cycle Investor newsletter. You'll get exclusive access to our new uploads on YouTube. Did you miss the first part? Go here. Click here to watch our other videos.